send him a fool's card. Hey, the people fight him. Today is May 25th. What is the last day that you're going to be at this location at Queen and Broadview? We will close on Sunday, which I guess is the 27th, right? Uh, but we will be there cleaning out and cleaning up until Thursday, which is the end of the month. Right. And so how do you feel about spending 23 years here and having to move? Is, are, you, are you sad? Are you glad? Are you glad to be rid of the location? Well, a bit of both. I mean, mixed emotions. Mixed emotions. When, when you're working in a location, it's different from visiting one. Yeah. And it's an older building. Um, it's done its time. Uh, I think uh, the new location is a newer, fresher, uh, with more potential. Got a patio. Got things that uh, we can really offer the city that people are going to... The decor um, is very was very unique for Toronto 24 years ago. H how did you come up with the decor for this restaurant? Well, basically, you're better at that. Um, we had friends of ours who were Paula and Rini, and they were artists and very, very um, good customers who wanted to participate in our growing process at that time. And she came up, you know, kind of brainstormed along with Ed, and they came up with this fantastic idea of painting the wall black and putting the zinc on the wall and giving it this bright and colorful flavor. So, right. Yeah. And, I, and, and, and so what was the reaction to customers when they first walked in? Well, the, you, have, you have to remember that the first restaurant was not here. And that was the one that was colored uh, with the black wall, which was anti-restaurant color, right? Because I think it's supposed to be sky blue or something tranquil that builds people's appetites. But the black and the uh, multicolored uh, um, corrugated metal yeah. was a big hit. People yeah. really loved it uh, from the get-go. And how many years were you at that location? Five years. Five years. It was a much smaller location. Right. And so you then moved to this location. And again, how long have you been at this location? We've been here 23 years. So when we moved into this location, it was a bank building. Right. So we had to build like the mezzanine level, the second floor. Yeah. We built that with our friends. Um, and we did a, uh, the work ourselves. We, we did a lot of that. We basically built it with our hands. With our hands. Right. Like, our friends and us, everybody just kind of came. So, Enjoy. And what is the new location? Well, it's going to be actually the big surprise was uh, I told people last night where it was. Uh, we've kept it a secret all this time. But it's at uh, 625, 625 Queen Street East, which is, yes, a block and a half down the road. Oh, oh very so good. So you're going to be in the same neighborhood. The same neighborhood. So the neighbors won't miss you. They will not miss us. All oh, very good. Walk a little extra or... Maybe even a shorter walk. <laughs> Very good. And uh, when do you expect to be open uh, at the new location at 625 well, that's Queen? That's going to be a little bit unpredictable, but we hope within a couple months. So uh, you'll be ready for Caravana? That is a hope. You know, oh, very good. No construction permits and right. takes a little time, but we're right. aiming for that time. And in the meantime, if people want to catch up on on the construction, and they can go to your website. What's the website, the website address? We will be using either the real jerk at the real jerk .com or save the real jerk .com. Excellent, good. Right. And so, what do you have to say? You know, you had close to three thousand people sign your petition to save the real jerk. What do you have to say to those folks? What do you have to say? I just want to say a big, big, big thank you from the bottom of our hearts because if it wasn't for our customers and our friends, we yeah. wouldn't be where we are today. Wonderful. Yeah. Echo the same sentiment. That's great. Yeah. Well, thank you. And maybe you can, uh, since you've worked so hard together, maybe you can give each other a little kiss and uh, <laughs> if, if she doesn't mind. Last time we did that, we had our last daughter. <laughs> So. <laughs> and your new baby's going to be the new restaurant. So there you go. Fabulous. Oh, come on. There we go. <laughs> That's good. I'm shy. Restaurants are a labor of love, and you've proven it. Thank you so much. Okay, Thank you. you're welcome. <laughs> okay, I, I won't start filming until you rouge up. <laughs> Don't be shy.
So tell everybody what's your name? Zoanne. Zoanne. You're welcome. And what's your name? Camise. Camise. Oh, that's right. I forgot. Lorenzo. Lorenzo. And Lorenzo, you work here at The Real Jerk. How long have you worked here? Um, I'll say six years. And, and what do you do here at The Real Jerk? I'm one of the servers. Oh, good. How long have you worked here? Um, coming up on one year. Your job? I'm a bartender. Ah, very good. And how long have you been working here? Nine years. Year. When's the first time you came to The Real Jerk? Um, probably when I was about ten when my mom brought me here. Yeah. And so when you were 10, did you ever think that, oh boy, one day I'm going to work at The Real Jerk? I definitely didn't. Yeah. And, um, w when was the first time you came to The Real Jerk? Were you a customer first or an employee I first? I came as a customer first. How, how many years did you come as a customer? I, no, the first time I came, I was like, oh my God, um, the food here is so amazing. How am I going to enjoy this food every day? How can I afford it? And then like, the second time I came, I applied for the job and I got it. Huh? And and what uh, what's your favorite menu item here? Like as a server, you're here every day. What's your favorite menu item? Jerk chicken oxtail combo. Jerk tail oxtail. Okay, very good. So you're also one of the people who's always tweeting about the real jerk. I do. Yeah. And what what's the what if people want to follow the real jerk? What's the Twitter handle here? At real jerk Toronto. So so this is a good way for you to get cheap food, cheap food, and earn a living. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and do you do this full time or are you also a student? What do you do? Uh, I'm here full time. I'm here five days a week. Yeah. Uh, very good, very good. So what's you what's going to be your best memory of the real trip? Probably, it will have to be probably one of our first staff parties. My first staff party. Yeah. Yeah. Did you get up to no good or was it a lot of fun? It was a lot of clean fun. G clean fun. Good clean fun. Oh, good. Because we have a family. We have a family like, audience. Yeah. It, that was the first time all the staff ever came together as one. Right. So yeah, nice clean fun. And and what's what was it like working here? Like what what's the one word you would use to describe working here? I'll say phenomenal. Phenomenal. That's yeah. a great word. That's a good word. Okay. Now, what's the one thing you're going to miss about this location? Because we're closing in a couple of days here. Um, probably the whole environment, the atmosphere of this location. You get so used to it. Like, I remember it was pretty much the same way when I was here when I was 10, right? And to see it the same way now is amazing. So, it's just kind of sad to think that they're not going to be at this location anymore where they've been for so long. But hopefully we can take a lot of what's here now and bring it with us to the new location. Right. And not change anything too, too much. Yeah. But there'll still be that iry vibe. There will be, for sure. Good. And there'll still be Zoe Ann. I'll still be there. Good. <laughs> they were close to 3,000 people who signed uh, that petition, right? Yeah. SaveTheRealJerk.com. And wh what did you think about the fact that 3,000 people wanted to see the restaurant stay open? It just shows how strong the community is and that the real jerk is a part of the um, community. Yeah. And you just get to know like how amazing of a restaurant it really is. The fact that so many people uh, don't want it to be gone, right? Yeah. Good. Hopefully, your, maybe your kids, when they're 10, will be eating here. Hopefully. All six of them. <laughs> All of them. <laughs> Good. And uh, you know about the new location? I do know. You know I was told yesterday, actually. Oh, very good. So you got the surprise just like everyone yeah, else. Just like everyone else. Very good. I, wasn't, so, I didn't know before no one. Right. You didn't get an advance. I didn't get, uh, get nothing. Okay, good. Get the surprise and everyone got it. Very good. So you look forward to working at the new location. I do. So we're we're gonna see you at the new location. You are. You are. Excellent. Good. Thank you so much and good luck. You're welcome. Thank you, sir. <laughs> all right. And what do you have to say to all the customers that you've served over the last year? Uh, thanks so much for continued support. Uh, it's been like six months. Or coming on six months since we found out we were moving, and everyone's been so supportive. And it is, even though I've only been here for such a short time, it's so amazing to see. So, uh, what do you have to say to all the customers and supporters of the Real Jerk? Um, thank you for supporting not only me but the restaurant, and the management, Natalie, Ed, and Lily, and the staff, everyone. This time's with 100 percent support. Come back to the new location because we really need the support. And you know, thanks for all these years that you've been coming here. And you know, it's been good. Good. Thank you very much.